Hey Zane. Hey Marshall. How are you doing? I'm doing all right today. It's a good day. Well, we're running a little bit late. I uh, apologize for that. We didn't even know there was such a thing as enable auto start, but there you go, folks. Uh, if you do YouTube, uh, always check the button enable auto start. Uh, that's our tip for today, but we're actually going to give you a little hey, more information. Hey Marshall. Uh, How are you doing? you did your first Learn with the Nerds last month late. as part of the Intergalactic Learn with the Nerds. That's right. Great success. Had a great session, and you did so well that you have your very own <laughs> solo. Learn with an urge for the month of July I'm here so at Pragmatic excited. Works. Uh, July 17th, 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, you will have Zane presenting Python for Data Analysts. Uh, it's going to be a great session. It's going to be recorded. We always want to emphasize that it will be recorded so you can watch this later if you can't make it live. But today we want to talk about what is going to be covered in this session, Zane? So great question, Marshall. We are going to be diving into the basics of Python and Pandas, of course, uh, together. Very, very powerful language and library here. Now, there's a lot to this world of coding, but specifically Python, because Python is used for uh, data science, it's used for data analysis, it's used for web development, just all over the place. So what we did is we said, you know what, for the data analyst, how would you use now, Python and Pandas to together? Uh, and that's what we're going to be covering. We're going to jump into a really fun example uh, where we're going to learn how do you read data in using Pandas? How do you uh, then filter your data, aggregate your data, group your data? These are fundamental items that you're going to accomplish anytime you're wrangling your data, right? And then we're also going to be covering at the end uh, how do you use matplotlib to visualize one of the insights that we end up finding using pandas. So that's what we'll be covering. Pandas, Python, matplotlibs. <laughs> There's some great vernacular in this one. That's right. That definitely is the case. Well, who came up with the name Python? I, I've always wondered that. Well, uh, Guido von Rusum is uh, the gentleman who started Python, who created Python in 1991. But as far as the name Python, if you go look at other technical books from O'Reilly, for example, uh, even there, there's a lot of animals there. We got pandas, right? A panda. I don't know exactly where the, the name exactly came into play, but that is who created it. So I know we have lots of pythons here in South Florida, so uh, <laughs> true. <laughs> uh, we're going to be covering them this Thursday in uh, Learn with the Nerds. So tell me, what are people that attend the session, what are they going to leave with? So my goal here in this Learn with the Nerds is to give you an opportunity to see if learning Python is worth the time investment for you. Recently, we came out with a brand new bootcamp, Python for the Data Analyst, and we also have an on-demand learning course as well that covers this information also. Now, those are awesome classes and an awesome bootcamp, and I hope you come hang out with me sometime in them, but they're long, and that's a long time commitment to make. And so what we wanted to do with this Learn with the Nerds is to give you the opportunity to get excited about Python, about pandas, about learning something technical and new so that you can see if that time investment is worth it to you and see if upgrading your skill set just a bit more is going to be something that you want to do. So I know this is going to be a great session. Can you tell me a little bit about the data that we're going to be using in this session? I heard something about fighting robots. <laughs> you definitely, uh, definitely did hear something about fighting robots. So what we did with this Learn with the Nerds is you're hanging out with me, right? And I like to have a little bit of fun uh, when we're learning about a tool that can be a little bit boring to sit and learn about for a while. Uh, it's still exciting, but I wanted to make it that much more exciting. So the data set we're going to be working with uh, is information about an underground robot fighting ring. Uh, and we're going to be finding out information, like out, out of our robots that we have available, who is going to be winning the most, who loses the most, uh, what are the top earners, what tournaments are these robots playing in. Uh, so we're going to have a lot of fun discussing that information uh, here this Thursday. That's awesome. So Zane, what is the first rule of Robot Fighting Club? Uh, Marshall, the first rule is going to be that we don't talk about it, but we do analyze oh, information okay. about it using pandas. Well, very good. All right. That's, that's much better. Uh, so what is needed to participate in this session? Software, uh, lab files, anything like that? Well, important question, and unfortunately, Marshall, I have to tell you, uh, this is going to be, in the history of Learn with the Nerds, the longest list of requirements that we've ever had. Oh, no, I'm, I'm just yeah, kidding. Oh. I'm just kidding. In fact, all you're going to need 
uh, to attend and take part in and follow along with me on this Learn with the Nerds is a computer with internet access. You'll need a web browser and you'll need to go to jupyter.org. And then I'll explain how we're going to be writing out Python using what's called a Jupyter Notebook there. But in reality, step number one, just get a computer so that you can browse the web. And then important step number two is going to be grabbing the class files that will allow you okay. to follow along with me. All right. And if you register for this event, uh, we'll make sure we get those class files to you as well as all the prerequisites and everything that you need. Uh, but you need to go ahead and register now and, uh, and get that information. We're going to drop a link in the chat uh, so you can register now. Uh, you can also click this QR code uh, to go ahead and register. But uh, we'll go ahead and send out a reminder the day before as well as the morning of so you can get all that information. So I guess that's another question is what prerequisite knowledge is needed to attend this class? So as far as prerequisite knowledge goes, it would be definitely helpful to you as an individual if you were familiar with some uh, basic Python data types or data structures. But in reality, if you have no idea what Python is outside of Scary Snakes, but you still want to dive into coding, uh, then I would say come right along because we're going to be diving headfirst, like I said, into a fun example. And you don't need that much prerequisite knowledge to uh, have a good understanding about what we are doing. The goal will be to allow you to know what your next steps are going to be after we finish up learning and learning about the robot fighting ring for the day. So, all right. Yeah. Well, very good. Well, let's, uh, any questions that we have from the chat? Uh, let's ask our buddy Jason. Any questions? Man, you did a great job explaining this. <laughs> Pandas, you pythons. You too, you too. Uh, fight clubs, robots. <laughs> I mean, you hit it all. I mean, if we were playing, you know, uh, Python bingo, I think we, yeah. I think that we got it. You nailed if, it. If that was the case. We'll just start oh. listing out more animals, and then this we'll call it a technical session. So. Absolutely. Well, here's the, uh, the code that you need to use to register for this event. So go ahead and uh, click that QR code or scan it with your phone. It takes you to a super easy to uh, complete form. We'll get you registered. Like I said, we'll send out an e email the day before, as well as an email the morning of with everything that you need, as well as those class files. And then immediately after the session, uh, we will send you a link to the recording uh, for the session. So if even if you can't make it live, uh, you can still get that link to a recording. It looks like we have one question. All right, let's see what the question is. So uh, Robert wants to know, realistically, can you do analytics outside Jupyter Notebook, or can you use uh, Visual Studio? Visual Studio, yeah. Yes, you absolutely can. So uh, when it comes to Jupyter Notebooks, they are a phenomenal, phenomenal tool that you can use uh, for you know, training events like this or for uh, documentation of your code. But absolutely, you can write Python, Pandas, and VS Code. You can go over to the Azure world and use the uh, languages there. Uh, you can also go to other tools like Microsoft Fabric, use them there. But at the end of the day, of course, you are absolutely able to write your own scripts in a tool like Visual Studio Code, for sure. All right. Any more questions? No more questions. All Great right. question, well, though. That was a good question. So uh, just to reiterate, this Thursday, 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, so July 17th, uh, click that QR code. There's a link in the chat. Uh, register. We're going to have free giveaways. Uh, we're going to give away some training, give away some Learn with the Nerd swag, all sorts of good stuff. We always have really great engagement in our chat, lots of camaraderie, lots of great people just participate in this event. We have a really great time with Learn with the Nerd. So, uh, any last closing thoughts, Zane? Uh, just to piggyback off of Marshall there, uh, the Learn with the Nerds is always so much fun getting, connect, getting to connect with the community. Uh, and this being all about Python, of course, I am personally excited to uh, maybe grab a few other people that are brand new uh, to the tool and bring them along to do a lot of learning. So just make sure that you get registered, that you make sure that you are excited to come hang out with us here at Pragmatic Works and, and learn about something new. That's fantastic. Well, we'll see you all this Thursday, July 17th at 11 a.m. for Python for Data Analysts. Until then, have a good week. See you later.